In this video, I show how to tune in and use a VOR for navigation. Okay, the first thing we want to do is tune in the VOR frequency on the Bendix King KX155 radio. Then we want to hit the Nav1 button to receive and listen for the Morse code identifier uh, for that particular VOR that we've tuned in. Now we're going to go over to the GTN650, hit the Nav button uh, to bring up the Nav radios, and we're going to tune in that nav radio frequency and again listen to the VOR Morse code identifier by hitting the nav1 button up on the audio panel. Now we're going to tap the default nav button on the GTN650 to put the HSI um, CDI indicator into VOR mode versus the normal GPS mode. Now that we've tuned in and identified the VOR uh, Morse code and we have active VOR frequency tuned in, we're going to spin the OBS knob on the CDI instrument until we get the vertical line to center up with the ball. And this will basically tell us what radio we're currently flying over. We'll then do the same thing on the HSI. We'll uh, push the button on the HSI, spin it over to the course indicator, and then we will spin that uh, knob until we get the lines to all line up. You should see one arrow pointing toward the course, the other arrow pointing away from it. This tells us we've got a from indication. So again, this is the radial that we're flying over here, identified by the CDI. Now, if I spin the knob 180 degrees, I'll fly the reciprocal um, course bearing to the VOR. So once I put in that reciprocal heading, I will actually turn my plane to a heading uh, that is lined up with the CDI. I may have to um, fly at a slightly different angle to intercept the course, but once I'm on the course, I can stay uh, on the proper heading other than correcting for wind to fly to the VOR. Okay, now we are pretty much on a heading that's uh, matching the CDI indicator, uh, and we're now flying to the VOR. We may have to correct for wind, so I have a slightly different heading angle to correct for wind, but our goal is to keep that uh, course needle lined up. Here I'm now spinning the HSI knob until the line centers with the arrows pointing in the same direction to show a two indication. And once those lines are lined up and the two arrows are pointing in the same direction, that is my bearing to the VOR. And again, we're just going to keep the CDI needles and arrows uh, lined up and centered. And if we do that, we'll continue to fly to the VOR. And it's that easy for VOR navigation. 